Hello and namaskar to everyone. Today we are going to solve this problem. And this problem is uh, from cost curves, right? So the question goes like this. Answer the following questions based on the given table. Okay, and output are given from zero to five and total fixed cost is given as 60 and the other rows are blank. And then total variable cost are given from zero level of output to the five units of output and total cost, we have to calculate the total cost. And the question related to this table are complete the given table, draw the total fixed cost, total variable cost, and total cost curves by using completed table and the last question is mention the nature of TFC, TVC, and TC curves. Okay, let's solve this question. Okay, so I have copied this table uh, from the question and I'm going to complete this table, first of all. And before we complete this table, we have to write here uh, completion of completion of the given table, okay, table. Or you can write, we can complete the given table is follows. So we know that total fixed cost remains the same, whatever be the label of output. Whether the output is zero or maximum, total fixed cost remains constant. That's why here we are given the value of TFC is 60 when output is zero. And we know that it remains constant, whatever be the label of output. That's why we can insert here 60 and then 60 again, 60 and 60. So it remains the same, whatever be the label of output. That's why TFC remains constant. And then total cost. We know that total cost is the sum total of total fixed cost and total variable cost. That is total fixed cost, sorry, total cost is equals to TFC plus TVC. And when we sum, we find out the sum total of these two values, 60 plus zero is 60. Likewise, it's 80, 60 plus 20 is 80, 60 plus 30 is 90, and 60 plus 45 is 105. And then 60 plus 80 is 140. And 195, the last one. In this way, we can complete the table. Okay. And this is the answer for uh, the A, right? Question number A. So this is the completion of the table. Okay. We have completed the table like this. Okay, now the second question is, we have to draw TFC, TBC, TC curves. Okay, so let me write here the question number B and graphical representation. We can write, uh, let's draw, okay, let me write here, graphical representation graphical representation of of TFC that is total fixed cost total variable cost and total cost curves okay so this is the graphical representation. Let me uh, draw the diagram here, okay? Uh, simply, I have already made the diagram. So this is the diagram. I'm going to copy this one, right? I'm just going to copy this one and then paste here. Let me paste here. This is 
the diagram. Okay, so this is the diagram here. I have copied from already drawn diagram. And in this diagram, we can see that output is measured along the x axis and the cost along the y axis, right? Output is measured along the x axis and cost along the y axis. Let's first find out the values of total fixed cost, right? Total fixed cost. And here in the table, you can see that total fixed cost remains the six, remains the same, that is 60, whatever be the label of output. So when output is zero, then total fixed cost is 60. When output is one, then total fixed cost is 60. When output is two, and then it's 60. So it remains the same, whatever be the uh, label of output. That's why our total fixed cost remains the same. And joining these, these uh, combinations, combinations of total fixed cost and output, we'll get a line that is total fixed cost. So total fixed cost is a straight line parallel to x-axis. Likewise, look at the total variable cost in the table. Total variable cost is zero when output is zero. That's why this total variable cost starts from the origin. Okay, it starts from the origin, total uh, variable cost. And when it is one, then it's 20. And when output is two, then it's 30. And when output is three, then it's 45. Likewise, the other values are here. And joining these combinations, we'll get a line and this line is uh, total variable cost curve, right? This one is total variable cost curve. Similarly, the last one is total cost and total cost as we have already discussed is total cost is obtained by TFC and TVC, right? So total fixed cost remains the same. That's why the gap between total cost and the total variable cost is always the same, which is equals to total fixed cost. In our case, it is 60. So the gap between total variable cost and total cost is 60. So when output is zero, then total cost is 60. And when output is one, then it's uh, 20 plus 60 is 80. Likewise, this one is, in the third case, it's, uh, uh, 30, 30 plus 60 is 90 and 105 and then 140 uh, and the last one is 195. And joining these combinations, we'll get a line and this line is total cost. Okay, so in this way, we can draw the TFC, TVC and TC curves. Now the last question is, look at the last question that is, Mention the nature of TFC and TFC, TVC, and TC curves. Now we are going to write the nature of these three curves. Okay, these three curves means total uh, fixed cost, total variable cost, and total cost. Right? Okay. Let me go to uh, the third question. That is the natures of Okay, nature of, of TFC, TBC, and TC curves. Okay, the first one is TFC curve. TFC curve. Let's write the nature of TFC curve. And the TFC curve you can see here is TFC curve is parallel to is parallel to the x axis to the x axis because this is because. The total, because the total 
fixed cost, fixed cost remains constant, remains constant regardless of output. That is, whatever be the label of output. Output, you can insert here, label, output label. Okay, this curve, this curve starts from a point. It starts from a point on the x-axis. Sorry, it's, it starts from y-axis, right? Implying that, implying that, TFC will, sorry, will increase, sorry, incur, it's not increase, will incur, will be incurred, even if, even if the output is zero, even if the output is zero. In this way, we can write the nature of TFC. Let me write here about the next one, that is TBC curve, TBC curve. TVC curve, you can see in the diagram that TVC curve, TVC curve slopes, it slopes the upward, right? Upward. This is the TVC curve, upward, implying that, implying that, TVC is equals to zero, uh, sorry, TVC increases, TVC increases with the increase in, with the increase in output, increase in output. It starts from the origin, this curve. It starts from the origin. Why? Origin, because TVC is equals to zero when output is equals to zero. This curve is curve is inversely accept, okay? Not like this, but like this, inversely accept, inversely accept. Now the last one, that is total cost curve, okay? Total cost curve, total cost curve, this curve is derived, it is derived from the vertical, derived from the vertical summation of, vertical summation of what? Vertical summation of TFC and TFC and TBC. And we know that TC is equals to TFC plus TBC. Since TC is equals to TFC plus TBC, both, that is, 
total cost, both total cost, curve, and total variable cost curve have, both the curves ha have the same, have the same. You can see in the diagram that both have same slope. Okay, same slope. That is, they are, they are inversely accept. They are inversely, inversely, yes, sorry, inversely, yes, accept, inversely accept. And the last thing, let me write here, and the vertical, okay, vertical gap, that is the distance, vertical distance between them, between them is always the same. Okay, so in this way, we can complete this problem. Okay, you, we can solve this problem. Okay. 